If fishing is your sport and you're looking for some recommendations on sunglasses, well, you couldn't be in a better place. Stick around. Hello and welcome on my glass. Tyler, I want to talk to you about our top picks for fishing sunglasses. There are a lot of things to be concerned with. Of course, you want good protection. Of course, you want good coverage and visibility. Of course, there were other things that we were looking at that earned all of these frames a spot on this table today. And things that you want to look out for in a pair for yourself would be, a, of course, like I said, good coverage, but you also wanna make sure that they are comfortable and that they stay on your face all day long, even if they get wet or you're sweating. I think one of the best things that you can say about eyewear is that you can put them on and you forget about them. You don't have to fuss with them. You don't have to think about them because they're supposed to perform for you. You shouldn't have to deal with them at all. And so I think all of these frames are good on that regard. They all have a ton of coverage. They are all fully wrapped. And so you're getting great protection as well as good visibility. They all have grip somewhere on the frame. Some of them have elements that are more ideal for the sport like venting or uh, leashes or, or different things that I will point out as we get to each frame in this list. If at the end of this you are ready to order, definitely don't forget about Sporter X and don't forget about our See Better Guarantee because with that you're never stuck with something that you don't like or just doesn't work for you. Maybe I tell you perfectly as to what to expect out of any of these frames, but they just don't end up being right for you. That's fine. You have as long as 45 days with them. Even if you get them in prescription, we will take care of you. Just reach out to us and it doesn't matter what it means on our end, we're going to do it. Also, you can reach out to our opticians because they would love to help you get it right the first time. All right, now let's talk about these frames. First up, we have the Costa Tuna Alley. I don't think we can talk fishing without talking about Costa. And the Tuna Alley is one of their probably longest running, most popular frame styles out there. And so it has to be included. And also a Rexy winner. If you're not familiar with the Rexies, you should check that out. We've done a couple of them over the years and you can see little highlight videos on YouTube. Check them out. I think it's fun. I think you'll think it's fun. Really tried and true, super sturdy, really good quality frame. Uh, good elements everywhere. You have a texture grip on the temple, a texture grip in the nose, and it is a hydrophilic material as all of these grips have, which means that as they get wet, they actually grip a little better as opposed to being more prone to sliding off your face. You also have venting systems in this frame that help to prevent fogging. Of course, you have Costa's 580 lens technology, which is amazing. They have a number of different colors that are ideal for different types of fishing. If you have questions on that, we've done tons of other videos, but also again, we have opticians who'd love to help you. When it comes to sizing, this frame lands you with an SFW of 137 millimeters, which is a men's large. Hey, if you're liking this content, but maybe you have additional questions about men's fishing sunglasses, or perhaps you have prescription needs, well, be sure to reach out to one of our very friendly expert Sporter X opticians because they are eagerly awaiting your call. And for even more men's fishing frame reviews, unboxings, prescription fishing content, check out our videos and our blogs. We'll put a link in the description below. Next up, we have the Costa Diego. This is a newer addition to the Costa lineup. I would, I mean, it is just as durable. One thing that you notice when you pick it up is that it is very lightweight for how much material there is, for how much lens there is, because this has a huge lens. If you're looking for about the most coverage you can get, this is an amazing option for you. They really went all out on the Diego. I did a more deep dive review on this frame as well. So if you're looking for the nitty gritty, you can check that out. But you have a lot of amazing features on this. Very, very flexible frame material, especially at the tips of the temple. It's gonna help hold onto your head without imposing too much pressure. You have some notches at the ends of the temples for a leash or for one of their keepers to be attached. With this, you also have tons of venting in the nose pad. You have venting channels in the temples to help directionalize moisture. You have a, kind of a built-in brow shield on the top to give you that much more protection from light above you. You have a built-in side shield to give you more protection from light coming in from the sides. Just really a feature rich frame that you get out of this guy. And it is one of my favorites for the sport in the coastal lineup for sure. And again, of course, you have the 580 tint technology available in this in both prescription and in non-prescription. When it comes to fit, the SFW on this guy is 138 millimeters, which lands it at a men's large. 
Next up, we have an Oakley. This is the Oakley split shot. This is the frame that Oakley built and designed with fishing in mind and with seafaring in mind. Really another great option and it has to be a part of this lineup because we love Oakley and Oakley made this specifically for the sport. You have a really good lens size on this and of course a fully wrapped frame. You are getting Oakley's O Matter frame material. Very lightweight, very flexible, very durable. Another cool thing about the design is I love the grip. They have their nose pad design or nose piece design, which is one of my absolute favorites, uh, which is a little more of a saddle style bridge. And of course, with their unobtainium grip material, which grips better as you sweat and as it gets wet, but it makes contact throughout the whole nose bridge. And so it gives you more contact, which means better dispersion of weight, which means more comfortable and also means better grip because that gripping material is making contact in more areas on your nose bridge. A really cool thing that you don't want to miss out on this frame is the locking mechanism they have at the ends of the temple tips. Again, we've gone in the more deep dive video on this that you can check out, but uh, just a little quick note is that you can unlock it and then attach an included woven steel leash that comes with this frame, 20 inches long, it is included, uh, and a really, really good system if you want something that has a leash included. Actually, I think the only one on this table that comes with a leash included. This does also have a nice brow and side shield design incorporated in the frame material. And so again, really good protection from the light no matter where the sun is at. And it is designed to be a little more hat compatible. You can see it the, the outsides of the eye wire whatever you want to call it, the lens shape, it dips down just a little bit and that's to make it a little more hat compatible. And it is their straight back temple design, which is typical of Oakley with their three point fit system. You can count on these fitting you pretty well. And with Oakley, you're getting access to their prism lens technology, which is amazing. And they have their shallow water polarized and deep water polarized, which both are incredible. Unfortunately, the shallow water polarized still is not yet available in prescription. The deep water, however, is. When it comes to fit, this has an SFW of 130 millimeters, which lands you at a medium. Next up, we have Maui Jim. We can't talk about anything water sports without talking Maui Jim. An amazing frame company, an amazing lens company. They make really good quality, really everything eyewear related. This frame was named after the Blue Marlin tournament, and it is just like Blue Marlins, a very big frame. You have a ton of wrap coverage and protection, really, really beefy temples on this guy. So instead of that kind of side shield, built in side shield design, like I've been mentioning with some of these, you have a thicker temple, which achieves that same effect. You have grip on the nose. You don't have grip on the inside of the temples, but it is designed to wrap a little bit more behind the ear, kind of as a hook behind your ear. And of course, with Maui Jim, you have their polarized plus two lens technology, which is incredible. And the SFW on this frame is 142 millimeters, which lands you at a large to extra large, really on the extra large end of that spectrum, and is definitely the biggest on this table. Next up, we have the ever popular, ever amazing Smith Guides Choice. This has been on the list of top sunglasses for fishing for a very long time and for great reason. This is actually another Rexy's winner. If you haven't already checked it out, like I mentioned earlier, go check out those Rexy's videos because they are fun. This has grip on the inside of the nose, actually quite a bit. It's a pretty chunky bit of grip there. So definitely gonna stay on your face. And then at the very tips of the temple as well, this is another one of those frames that isn't really meant to be wrapped behind the ear. It's that straight back design, but very thick toward the front of the frame, but very thin at the ends. And so very hat compatible, really low profile in the temple while still giving you a lot of that extra coverage. This does also have a built in uh, brow shield hood kind of deal to keep light from coming in from above you. Really, really good protection wise and wrap wise and a huge lens. And with Smith, of course, you have access to their Chromapop lens technology, which is also very amazing. The SFW on this frame is 137 millimeters, which lands you at a pretty solid large fit. Next up, we have another Smith, and this is the Smith Castaway, a, a newer addition to their lineup. And I think they've been going after that kind of seafaring lifestyle a lot more lately with their frame designs. 
Uh, and it's similar to the guide's choice. If you've known the guide's choice and loved it for a long time, but you'd like something a little bit different, the Castaway is a great option. Again, a huge lens. You have grip on the ends of the temple. You have grip on the nose. It, this thing is going to stay on your face for sure. And it does employ that same design, where which is a, a thinner temple at the very end, but a thick, beefy temple toward the front, again, to give you that protection on the sides, as well as that built-in hood brow shield again it's just protection no matter where the sun is at and that's amazing this does have what they call an italian spring hinge it's really a hidden spring hinge that's pretty durable not super super springy compared to other spring hinges but definitely enough for those of you who love a spring hinge and you know what i was wrong i mentioned earlier that the oakley split shot was the only frame on this table that came with a leash that was not the case because the Castaway also comes with a detachable, what they call their Pivlock leash. So do keep that in mind if that's something interesting to you, uh, a really solid leash that comes along with this frame. And again, it's Smith, so you have access to their Chromapop lens tech, amazing lenses. As for fit on this, it has an SFW of 136 millimeters, which lands you at a medium to large. <music> And last but not least, we have the Wiley X Omega. I love Wiley X. They are just consistently, reliably durable frames. Very lightweight, amazingly durable because they are all ANSI rated. If that is interesting to you, if you want the absolute best protection you can possibly get, all Wiley Xs have safety ratings on their frames and then therefore their lenses. Even if you get them in prescription, do keep that in mind. A huge lens in this as well. Good wrap protection, straightforward frame. You have that extra protection because of the thick temples. You have uh, also access to their Captivate lens tech. That's what you get with Wiley X. It's a newer, newish lens tech. We've done some videos on that. You can check out if you're interested in their lens tech. Really amazing frame, pretty straightforward. You do have grip on the nose here and a good wrap protection. You do not have any grip on the temples. It is meant to hold on with that straight temple design with a little bit of pressure and there is grip on the nose pad. So you can definitely count on these staying on your face throughout the day. The SFW on this frame is 135 millimeters, which lands you at a medium fit. So that wraps it up for our top picks of men's fishing sunglasses of 2021. I hope that you have a better idea as to whether or not one of these is right for you. If not, at least you know what to look for in the right pair of sunglasses for the sport for you. If you are ready to order again, do not forget about that See Better Guarantee. I think it gives you a ton of peace of mind. And for even more peace of mind, do not hesitate to reach out to our opticians because they would love to help you. So you can call us. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this was interesting or valuable information. If so, throw us a like because that helps us out. You can find relevant videos over here. And also we have great content on our social media outlets. And I think you should check us out there too because I think you'd like it. Otherwise, I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> you can find us at SportRx.